medical images analysis has to scale. So let's automate it. Hi, my name is Guillaume Moutier. I am a technical evangelist at Red Hat in the storage business unit. So, what are we trying to achieve? What is our problem? Let's say we are at an hospital and we have X-ray images to review. Well, of course, an AI ML model can definitely help. But how can we efficiently analyze the images as they come in? For a continuous flow of thousands of images? How can we continuously retrain the model and redeploy it seamlessly? And at various locations simultaneously? Well, my answer to that is to use cloud-native architecture and patterns. In this demo, we will use Bucket Notifications with Red Hat Self Storage, Kafka Topics with the MQ Streams, Creative Eventing and Creative Serving with OpenShift Serverless, and finally Tecton CD with OpenShift Pipelines. So here is the workflow of the demo. Imagine we are at an hospital that's a storage location. We will send a flow of X-ray images inside a self-object storage bucket. This will automatically trigger a notification, and this message will be sent to a Kafka topic. Using Kenative Eventing, with a subscriber to this topic, Kenative Serving will launch one or many pods depending on the load. Those pods will run an inference model to assess the risk of pneumonia. The result will be written on the image, and a notification will be sent to a doctor. But if the model is not really sure of its assessment, let's say under 80% of certainty, a copy of the image will also be anonymized, removing the personal information that are printed on it and sent to a central data science lab. Here, the image can be reviewed and classified by specialists, and the model can be retrained using the same automated pattern. Once the new model has been generated, it is pushed to a Git repo, which will trigger a rebuild of the risk assessment container image that will automatically be deployed seamlessly. Of course, this risk assessment pipeline can be reproduced at many other locations at the edge, each one benefiting from this shared model training. Let's go see it running. First, let's take a look at my OpenShift environment. In my project, I have an image generator, which will uh, generate this flow of images that are sent to our SF bucket. I have a Kafka topic subscriber, that's part of uh, Kenative Eventing, and I have my Kenative Serving uh, Risk Assessment uh, service, okay? And for this demo, you know, I've merged the two functions of the risk assessment of the anonymization of the image, but that's, that's for the, the, the sake of this, uh, of this demo. I have also in my project, uh, deployment of Grafana, where uh, I will have this dashboard uh, where we will be able to, to monitor this flow. We'll see it in, in a moment. And I have also some helpers, uh, a database where I will record uh, all the events happening, so all the images coming in, processed and uh, anonymized. And I have a small helper here, it's an image server, that will allow us to see those live images coming into Grafana. And here is our Grafana dashboard. So let me launch the model. I will just patch the image generator to tell him to send a new image into the bucket every second. And now that the process has started, let me give you a quick tour of this, uh, of this dashboard. So here, of course, you can see the, the pipeline live with the number of images that are uploaded the number of images that are processed and eventually the number of images that are anonymized. So that's when the model again is unsure of its certainty. We have here a panel with the CPU and RAM usage, a panel with the number of containers that the risk assessment pods are uh, running and the number of deploy deployments it uses. So you see, it, it has some slight delay in uh, displaying the, uh, the result, but we can see here that we have one replica of the risk assessment pod, uh, which contains two containers, okay? We have also here a panel that gives the risk distribution uh, for the model with the uh, normal pneumonia or unsure assessment and the number of images that are processed by model version. 
Here it's pretty much straightforward with the list of the last 10 uploaded images, the last 10 processed images, and the last 10 anonymized images. Of course, you can see that there are less uh, anonymized images than uh, the, the total of, uh, of uh, uploaded or processed. This is also what we can see here on the risk distribution, uh, because the, the model uh, that we are using here is relatively good with uh, a 95% of, uh, of, cer of certainty. So uh, normally it, it works well. And finally, we have here on those panel a display of the last uploaded, the last processed, and the last anonymized image. As it's quite difficult to see uh, here what's happening, I have another panel where we can see those, uh, those images at a, at a greater scale. So, uh, as it's not so easy to see, let's wait for images that uh, that are better. Okay, let's do this with this one. Okay, so here you have the, the, the kind of images that are uploaded. So, a pure X-ray image with some personal information here at the bottom left uh, that gives the name and uh, date of birth and, uh, and other information. Here, that's how we process the image. So what we do, we make uh, a risk assessment here and we print it on, uh, on top of the image. So that's what it's printed here, unsure with a risk of 72%. Uh, we are unsure because it's, in, it's less than 80% uh, of uh, certainty. But we still have this personal information written here uh, in, in the bottom. So what we do in the process is that we anonymized, uh, we anonymized the images uh, by blurring here this part where the, the personal information are. And if we go back to our main panel, we will see also that we change the, the name of the images themselves. So we remove the, the names that are here and uh, uh, the, the date of birth that is here, and we generate some uh, some UID that can be linked to the to the patient uh, file in the at the hospital. So you see our process is going well, but I will try to put some more pressure on it by sending 10 images per second, and we'll see how it scales. And what I will do at the same time is also change the, the version of the model we use. So let's say we have received those images at uh, our data science lab and we have trained a new model and this model now will be pushed to, to a repo which will trigger a change of model uh, that is used here in our pipeline. So let's do this. So we can see now that uh, as we have increased the rate of images that are produced, the, the risk distribution, uh, we can see that the number of images that are processed is growing up uh, much faster. And to face this new workload, we have now uh, two deployments of our risk assessment pod to be able to, to, to handle this load. And at the same time, we can see that we have switched models. So now we are using the version two uh, model to process our, uh, our images. Okay, we could also increase uh, increase this rate uh, many more times, or we could put it down to zero, and those pods will just go down to zero, and our uh, resources consumption would go to zero. That's the, that's how cognitive uh, serving works. So we can you can see that so far we have processed hundreds of images. This could be thousands. Uh, the, 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 the whole pipeline we scale uh, accordingly. We have also uh, made a change in the model that, uh, that we are using. And uh, we can see that uh, there, there was no, uh, no, no involvement of uh, any team to be able to, to re, uh, redo this pipeline. Everything has been fully automated. So that's exactly how you can scale your, uh, your uh, data pipelines for data science, for example. I hope you have liked this demo. And if you want to try it, or learn how it's done, head out to my GitHub repo, where you will find a detailed walkthrough, detailed instructions on how to set up the, the different elements uh, to be able to reproduce this demo yourself. 
and uh, of course you will find all the code that I'm using uh, to, to, to make this. Thank you for your attention and have a great summit with Red Hat. Take care.